So, um, obviously, one of the things that we've all done a lot of during this, you know, during this pandemic is watch a lot of TV. And I suppose what got me thinking about sort of like this presentation today is just how much of my TV viewing is actually dictated by an artificial intelligence engine. So Netflix, I turn it on, I finish watching one thing and it recommends the next thing. You know, I, my go-to is a 98% match. So Queen's Gambit came up, 98% match, loved it. But it also got me thinking, well, what are the things that are just hiding away just below that? There's still, you know, 80% is still pretty good, but it maybe suggests it's slightly out of my comfort zone. And I discovered this fantastic um, TV program um, which you can see an image of here called Kim's Convenience. And it is it is just, it's funny, it's tender, it's really well observed. And it's centered around a Korean immigrant family in Canada. So it's a Canadian comedy. It's absolutely superb. And I believe that that artificial intelligence that, that pushed me slightly out of my comfort zone is absolutely ideal for education. And I suppose that's what got me thinking, it you know, got me thinking a few years back, really, alongside you know, my headmaster about actually how can we harness that in education? So we started looking around for prod products that would do it. And we came across um, this product, it's called Sentry, that is their website. Um, I don't work for them, I should point out, we just use it in the school. Uh, and what it does is it actually you know, identifies what students' strengths and weaknesses are. So the more that you students use it, the more data that goes in, same as in Netflix, the more that you watch, the more it can make recommendations for you that's personalized to you. So I'll show you a quick login screen for this is what I see when I go in if I was a student. And I can see that actually it's given me a diagnostic. I take the diagnostic assessment and then from there I'll recognize gaps. So it'll then tell me that I can see gaps here you know, around spotting patterns and it'll recommend that I do those. When the student goes on to look at it, it has a little video which they can watch, which like sort of then teaches them that content in a short bite size um, your size. So it's quite easily consumed you know, by the students. And then they have a series of tests to do along the top. So you can see here there's like sort of like five, you know, seven or eight questions you know, on that. So we decided to launch this very much with the point of view that actually, you know, that if a computer can successfully predict the type of TV program I'd like. A computer can successfully identify the gaps in learning you know, amongst our students. And it does a fantastic job at doing so. Mm. We just last just in the last week, we had over you know, just under 10,000 questions answered in the school. We have over 24,000 questions answered in um, in December alone. And actually, towards the peak last summer before the common exam, we were up around 50,000 questions being answered. So our students respond really well to this because it is easily accessible and it actually pushes them outside of their comfort zone. So they're not doing what a lot of our students do when they revise, which is to just revise the things they're comfortable with. It's actually recommending them they go through the things they don't. So a student has their own diagnostic screen. It tells them things that they can do to stretch themselves, areas to focus on to improve, and it gives you like sort of the areas of strength. So it doesn't recommend doing more of the things that you're already strong at. So this is a, a student um, who's been doing it. Won't recommend that they do connecting letters, but it will automatically identify they should spend some time doing antonyms. And that is a really, really powerful thing. So the student is, by feeding information into the system, is actually sort of getting the, that feedback back. And the other great thing about this is it saves the teacher's time. You know, and at this time of year when it's very busy, you know, this is self-marking, it identifies the gaps, and it helps plug those gaps. And as you can see, you know, we've had you know sort of a decent amount of usage. You know, over this is in the you know sort of like current academic year, we're approaching sixty thousand questions answered across those three core subjects. Um, it's been a great tool for us at Bolton School. You know, the students have gained a lot from it, and it just shows that artificial intelligence has a you know, a really really key role to play. I think, and I think we can expect to see more companies and more products starting to use this kind of technology um, in order to aid learning and actually help identify and plug gaps in students' knowledge.